Squint is a condition in which the two eyes are not aligned on the same object. In, a, in other words, one eye is straight and the other eye is deviated either outwards or inwards. Squint can occur because of various reasons. It can be congenital in which case the squint is present from birth. It can be because of trauma to the eyeball. It can be because of significant refractive error in children such as hypermetropia or myopia or astigmatism. It can be because of uh, neurological diseases as well in few cases. Squint can be of various types. It can be called as esotropia wherein the eye is deviated inwards. It is called as exotropia wherein the deviating eye is outwards. It's called as hypertropia when the eye is deviated upwards and it's called as hypotropia when the eye is deviated downwards. So there are certain myths among the general public wherein they feel that the squint is a sign of a good luck. Whereas in fact, squint can severely impair the visual system development in kids. So the eye that is squinting will send a very poor image to the brain. So there is a poor formation of visual connection between the squinting eye and the brain leading to lazy eye and it can severely impact the vision in that particular eye. And squint can sometimes be a serious neurological diseases as well. So it is very important that you identify squint at an early age, identify the cause of squint and also initiate the treatment at an early stage. Some people believe that the squint resolves spontaneously in children, whereas in fact any constant squint which is present beyond 6 months of age will not resolve spontaneously. It requires a thorough evaluation by a pediatric ophthalmologist. How does the squint impact a person? Squint, as I said, can impair the development of visual system. It can cause lazy eye. It will affect the development of vision in that particular eye. It can also result in double vision in some cases. And in some cases, when the squint is severe, it also leads to poor development of depth perception, also called as 3D vision. And also in some cases, it can cause low self-esteem among the other children. Now, how do we treat squint? First and foremost, we have to identify a proper refractive error. Whether the child has any significant refractive error is very, very important to be identified because significant refractive error is one of the most common causes of squint. Identifying significant refractive error and giving proper glasses may in some cases resolve the squint or may bring the squint under control. So identification of refractive error is the first and foremost step that we do. And the second step in some cases we give patching exercises wherein we patch the dominant eye and force the deviating eye or the squinting eye to be used more often and in these exercises some patients may uh, get the squint under control as well and the third step is squint surgery if none of the above two steps are helping in bringing the squint under control we do squint surgery squint surgery is very safe and effective procedure it can be done under local anesthesia and it can be done under general anesthesia as well so early identification of squint its proper evaluation and treatment will help in proper development of visual system in your child